Hey everybody, Johnny Guitar here from the Guitar Family. I, I know it's been a while since I've done a vlog, um, but today I wanted to focus on a do-it-yourself kind of video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, the steps that I take to create my own light for uh, photography or cinematography, whatever you want to use it for. Um, I followed um, a video off of YouTube and you can find the link here um, or you can check the, uh, the description below. But uh, I hope you guys like it and uh, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is an aluminum cake pan with a lid, a 13 by 9 will do just fine. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to trace um, a line in the middle. Um, this is where we're going to line up the light weatherproof sockets. Alright, so we've got four weatherproof sockets. Um, we're going to trace circles around here. This is where we're going to use a one and a half drill bit uh, to make these circles here. Alright, we're going to drill some pilot holes um, just so we get a clear guide through um, when we're drilling the bigger circles. Alright, and this is the one and a half drill bit. Just make sure uh, you make those circles. Make sure you have a hole for the on off switch. Also need a hole for the AC cable. Alright, and then we're going to drill some mounting holes. This is where we're going to put some bolts through and we have a, a dish pan that we're going to use to mount the aluminum pan to. Right, and then if you want to put an umbrella, this is an umbrella hole. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and mount the aluminum pan to the dish pan. So I'm going to, we're going to go ahead and trace circles uh, here just to get a reference on where it's going to mount on top. Um, and then we want to go ahead and trace the, uh, the drill holes for uh, where the screws are going to mount in as well. Alright, and at this part here we're just going to, we're going to draw a circle um, around where the sockets are going to be sticking out. Uh, this is to allow some of the aluminum pan to show through um, and, and provide some reflection of, of the light. All right, and after we're done finishing cutting this out, uh, we're going to put the flagpole holder on and then we'll get into the, um, the electrical wiring. If you do need some assistance with this, there will be a link in the description below showing you how to properly wire um, everything here. And then, you know, just make sure you have electrical tape and the, um, the, the wire guards, uh, connectors. Um, now, I had the wrong gauges at first. Um, and then we have the, um, the silicone sealant. Um, this is to help keep the sockets, the weatherproof sockets in place. Also prevent um, you know, leaks from getting through if it happens to get wet. And just make sure you do this on both sides. So just make sure you, you bolt everything through. Now this part here, I realized that I had used the wrong gauges for the electrical um, and I had to switch them out uh, for the correct ones to make sure they didn't come off. Um, and then we want to go ahead and put the handle on the top. This makes it so it's easier to carry around. And then we'll go ahead and mount the lid on top. This is to encase this, make sure that that lid doesn't come off and expose those wires. We want to make sure those wires are, are um, protected. Okay, we just want to screw everything in, make sure everything's nice and tight. Alright, and then we can put the splitters in. Just be careful when you're putting these splitters in because um, I actually started twisting uh, the weatherproof socket and moving that around. So just try not to twist them too, too much, too hard. Okay, and once the, um, the splitters are in, we can start putting the CFLs in, uh, and these are 100 watt, 500K Kelvin um, CFL lights. Uh, they work very nice with all eight of these bulbs. This will serve as an 800 watt, uh, almost like a flow light. These are uh, these light bulbs. Uh, they're CFL light bulbs and they do pop if you twist them the wrong way so make sure that doesn't happen because they have mercury in them so try and uh, you twist them from the bottom from the base and you should be fine all right so here we are we're all finished and this is the final product um, as you can see all the wires are encased uh, with the plastic piece on top here yeah so it wasn't too bad I followed all the steps and 
um, everything seems to to look good. Let's let's go ahead and turn it on. See how it looks. And all we need to do is just hit the switch on the side, and there we go. That is a 800 watt light that I just created, and um, cost me hundred dollars uh, to buy all the materials for this. All right, everybody, well, that is it. That's a wrap. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and definitely um, check out the original uh, Inventors video over at Indie Mobile. Um, once again, the link is in the description or you can click below. So yeah, just leave a comment below. Uh, like this video if you do and definitely go check out Griffin's video over at Indie Mobile and like his as well. And y'all have a, have a good one and, and happy coming.